Waterfront Toronto was created by the City of Toronto, the province of Ontario and the Government of Canada about 10 years ago and was charged with the responsibility for revitalizing Toronto's waterfront. The revitalization of the waterfront is one of the largest brownfield redevelopment and uh, remediation projects in the world. The remediation of Toronto's waterfront will involve the excavation and removal of up to 2 million cubic meters of soil. In order to revitalize the land in a sustainable manner, we couldn't consider that contaminated soil simply to be waste. The cost from an economic and socio-economic perspective of digging and dumping that waste in landfill is substantial. In order to address the sustainable use of the soils that are excavated from the waterfront, Waterfront Toronto elected to proceed with a pilot test facility to determine the feasibility of treating and reusing soils from across the, the waterfront. One of the key principles behind the design, construction and operation of the soil recycling facility was to minimize the potential for environmental impact associated with the uh, operation of such a facility. And a number of key elements that were brought into this were a redesign of the site so that the site itself acted as a containment structure. And a number of key elements surrounding this were the construction of asphalt containment berms surrounding the facility, uh, the construction of a large paved surface which was intended to act as a, a barrier to leaching of contaminants from the soil, and also a design of the site that involved the redirection of runoff and stormwater to a stormwater containment pond, which could then act as a source of process water for the recycling operations. And in addition to this, a, an air quality monitoring network was established around the site with a number of remotely monitored stations the two pilot test operators that we have on the facility, a DEC Environmental from Belgium and uh, Stuyvesant, which is a, a division of the Dutch Boscalis Group, both have experience in their respective countries of operating similar soil recycling facilities. Soils are trucked from the source sites to the way scale of the soil recycling facility. Soils are then directed to a paved inbound soil storage area where initial separation of oversized materials such as large fragments of metal, concrete, uh, wood and brick are removed. The soils are then loaded into an input hopper and from there uh, they undergo a further reduction in size. Uh, large fragments of metal are removed using electromagnets and the soils undergo physical separation using screens to remove oversized materials such as uh, cobbles. Uh, subsequent screening steps are then used to separate out gravel, which can then be reused and recycled as uh, aggregates for road base or uh, backfill for excavations. The material that remains within the soil wash plant, being uh, coarse sand and finer materials, then undergoes separation using a water-based process in which the sands are removed from uh, finer materials such as silt and clay-sized particles. The sands are uh, discharged via a conveyor belt onto a paved surface where they are tested for reuse as uh, backfill materials or for grading or landscaping. The water that was used in the separation process now contains all of the silt and the clay size particles and this material uh, gets put into a, a tank where uh, small amounts of chemical polymers are added to act as a flocculant. The water uh, then overtops a weir and gets collected into a recovery tank where it gets recycled in the process. The silt and the clay size particles having stuck together are in a, a form that still contains a lot of water. These materials are pumped onto a series of filter presses where they are squeezed between a pair of belts to remove that water, which again goes back into the uh, water recycling feed and is reused within the plant. 
And what's left over is a clay material, a, a manufactured clay material, which contains the majority of the contaminants from the soil. So this clay material, uh, now having been dried by squeezing, uh, gets loaded into a receiving bay where it is stored on a paved facility, covered over with tarps, and eventually will be destined for reuse or disposal depending on its quality. The Waterfront Toronto Soil Recycling Facility is novel in the context of Ontario where we've had uh, fewer pressures on our land base and a, a wider availability of lower cost landfilling options that has really deterred uh, remediation through approaches like soil washing and, and also deterred the recycling of soils. The goal of the pilot project is to assess the range of treatment options available, as well as the economic costs of treatment. We hope to be able to utilize the recycled soils from that treatment process in other projects that we're currently undertaking, like Don River Park. Waterfront Toronto will assess the results of the pilot project early next year, and will undertake a business case to determine the economic viability of proceeding with a full-scale soil treatment facility.